There is residue. It looks as if something had been placed here. She passed through here, there's no doubt about it. But how was she able to get past these roots? This stone steely has something to do with the entry of the grotto. But how? If you have an idea, when in Tirfordi, do like the Tirfordians do. You need to think like them. They prefer magical rituals to mechanisms, and nature is at the center of their universe. You need to place something on this altar, but I have no idea what would be the proper offering. Siora would certainly know what to do. She is a Denegad, after all. I fear we lack proper instruction when it comes to island sorcery, and we have little choice. You are correct. Our young friend would be more versed in local superstitions. Oh, fuck. Karantz, do you need something? Siora, we are in a bind, literally. The Tierna Hach Kadaktus has fled through a passage. The entrance is sealed by roots. A sacred passage, I am sure. Was there an altar stone near it? Yes, there was. Then that's it. You need to make an offering and it will open. Put the right seed on the altar and the roots will spread apart. As for knowing which seed is the right one... Without the Tierna Hach to tell you... Her Vuglendag might know. If not, you'll need to search her home in the hopes of finding the right seed to offer. But that would be disrespectful to her. I would prefer finding another means. I'll do my best. Thank you for your help. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. I want to have that guy. What the fuck? Were you able to meet the Tierna Hach Kadaktas? Yes. But to my grave disappointment, she fled before I could expose my arguments. Yes, many strangers have tried to capture her many times. She must have decided you were one of them. I'm once again in need of your assistance. I must take the passage blocked by a door of roots. You had the honor of speaking with my mistress. If she chose to follow the sacred passage, then it is that she had nothing more to say to you. Why would I share with you the understanding of the ritual that protects her? I promise that I mean her no harm. I just need to expose as best I can the problem at hand. Her help is truly necessary. Thousands of lives are at stake. Tell me more. My people have fallen prey to a serious illness, which has almost certainly taken my own mother by now. If we do not quickly find a remedy, we shall all follow her to the grave. But the Tierna Hak Kadaktas can help us. We are sure of that. She will know of a remedy able to heal this sickness that plagues us. Your quest seems noble and with great respect for the life of all. You must feed the offering ward to enter into the passage and meet her once again. I need to place a seed on the stone steely, don't I? Yes, you must make this offering. I cannot tell you from which plant it is given, but there is a chance there are more in her dwelling. 
or I will let you enter this one time, but treat her dwelling with respect, I ask you. Thank you for your help. Do not be so eager to thank me. The place you enter is ripe with dangers. As do all sacred places, it defends itself with the wild beasts that it fosters. This passage leads to a forest where the ancestors of the Tierna Hak Kadaktas makes her home. Uh, and why should I fear the ancestor? Have stories of the Nadaig been shared with you? In your language, you would call them guardians. Yes. I even encountered one. She was... magnificent. Then you know of what I speak. I must leave. Yo, let's go. This plant looks familiar. I saw some not far from here. Unfortunately, it's lost its seeds. This bark is covered with little symbols. It looks like some sort of writing, though I've been led to believe the natives have no written language. Uh, the Donegada use these symbols amongst themselves, and only they understand their meaning. It is a secret and sacred language. I cannot reveal to you what the bark contains without breaking my bond. Can you at least tell me if they speak of a passage? A seed? No. I would have told you. All of this is extremely interesting, but... Alas, it won't help me open the root passage. All these crushed plants and these powders... She must have been preparing a potion. It might be the miraculous remedy. To be so close and yet to have no idea what to do with all this. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the root passage. This looks like a collection of skulls from various animals. I wonder what purpose they serve. These skulls symbolize the animals. Through some rituals, we greet them. We thank them for feeding and dressing us, so that the next hunting season, they will once again give us the weak amongst their herds. I don't see any seeds here. The only clue we have is this plant. Let's try to find some other flowers. It might be their seed that opens the passage. And they bear seeds. Those are the offering seeds. We need to open the root passage. We should go try them. This island sorcery is touching in a sense. If only its usage did not entail all of these superstitious venerations of nature spirits. We have what we need. Let's go back to the stone steely. Here. And there. There you go. Interesting. Alright guys, let's go guys, let's go. And see... This place must be some type of shrine dedicated to the demonic creatures of this island. If the Ordo Luminous could see this. Be respectful. We are in a sacred passage, which is for initiation and meditation. We did not come to defile this place, and we do well to hurry. 
The Tierna Hak Kadaktis is quite the head start. See what's going on here. There's a chasm here. The Tierna Hachkadachtas is agile. I need a bit of practice. Do you? I'm asleep. Maybe in life you can't take me in this battle. We will shadow engulf our enemies. I will lose this fight.
at my uncle's court? No. But I was part of the embassy. I had only just started my career as a diplomat back then. Teleme was hoping to convert the congregation, and they had sent me to spread the word. I tried to teach you some of the basics because you had a predisposition for magic. But you were so young. You preferred to run around the halls with a wooden sword in hand chasing your cousin. All right, so I, I hope she like... didn't hide in this forest. Finding her here would be quite troublesome. It is an ancient and holy forest. A powerful place. There must be another egg here. We should be careful. Hmm. So I, I went all the way that in the, that passage, but there was no way I could get up there to her. So somehow he, she disappeared, and I fought. I fought with a bunch of. of animals
We didn't want this fight. Why? Why? In order to capture and extract from her what we need. To examine her. Dissect her, if necessary. You have done us a great service, guiding us directly to her. Are you saying that... Even if the creature has concocted some remedial potion, it is not the song we came for, but the bird. She leads the sorcerers of this island. She knows how they transform, and from where their powers originate. Our scientists think that the remedy is there, in their pseudo-magic, and in their mutation. Thank you for bringing her to us, and ridding us of the monster. Do you think I'm going to allow you to manipulate me? I don't think anything. Apologies, Excellency. But you are going to die tragically from a stray bullet intended for the monster. <laughs> Mercy, Your Excellency, I surrender. You are obviously nothing more than a henchman. It is your governor that is going to have some explaining to do. Off with you, and make sure our paths never cross again. Thank you, Excellency. You will never see me again. Tiana Hach? She is unconscious. We need to bring her back to her village. She needs to be tended to. We should leave right away. Is she going to survive? Yes, she will heal. They were not shooting to kill her. And we are resistant, you know. The bond empowers us. It gives us the vigor of animals, the resilience of trees. It's undoubtedly for that reason that your alliance is so interested <gasps> in us. <gasps> He does not mean to harm you. Please, let me... What do you want from me, Ranaikse? We were manipulated by the Alliance. We had no idea that they sought to capture you. We believed their fable of a miraculous remedy. The man that shot at you is in no condition to come back and bother you. And their governor will have explaining to do. I suppose I should thank you for having pulled me from their claws and bringing me here. Even I would have preferred knowing the men dead. There is indeed a remedy. But I doubt that I can do anything against this sickness that you describe. I don't know it. And I don't see how I could create a remedy that would heal it. Perhaps you could try. We are desperate. 
This remedy was prepared for a precise purpose, to heal those who escaped the claws of the Alliance. These monsters capture the Sinol Menoi and torture them, bleed them, put things in their veins. Those that do escape are in such agony that our care and comfort are not enough to mend them. That's why I made this remedy. Not for your Malikor. My people have never fallen prey to such sickness. How can you be so sure? Perhaps it's your tremendous resistance that protects you from the sickness. Perhaps. Enon Mil Frichtimen protects us all. Enon Mil Frichtimen? God of a thousand faces in your tongue. The one and many who protects us and our island. They and we are tied and bound, as they are tied and bound to you. Their generosity to our people is infinite, but the crimes of the Renaixe enrage it. After all, perhaps your Malikor is their vengeance. This is strange. The two tracks that we followed have led us to the same name, Enon Mil Frigdimin. The god of a thousand faces. But I don't believe he is the origin of your sickness. He protects us. He watches over us. Precisely. We know that the congregation came to this island long ago, a lot longer than we first thought. The Malakor could be a consequence of that first attempt to colonize. A curse cast at that epoch, brought back by the first defeated colonists. After all, is it not also the origin of the first guardians of the native legends? Either way, one thing is certain. If there is something or someone on this island powerful enough to heal the Malakor, it is certainly him. We need to bring this news back to Constantine. Even if we don't have a remedy yet, he'll be happy to know that we've made progress. <laughs>